Good morning, welcome to Math Practice Number 165. Math Practice Number 165. Well, since we're um, going away for a few days, I thought we'd just do something kind of fun and, and something neat, just to learn a little bit more about perfect squares. Okay. So today we're going to learn about a really famous theorem that this French mathematician Lagrange came up with. Can you say Lagrange? Lagrange. <laughs> Good. Yeah, it helps to plug up your nose. Or you can just, if you want to sound silly, you just say Lagrange. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, so Lagrange proved this really cool theorem that every integer greater than or equal to zero can be written as a sum of four perfect squares. So what does that mean? So for example, zero squared. What's zero times zero? Zero. Zero. So this is just zero squared plus zero squared plus zero squared plus zero squared. Well, that's not that exciting, right? Yeah. One squared would be one squared. squared. Plus zero. Sorry. Sorry. Why am I? Why am I doing squares? Zero can be zero squared plus zero squared plus zero squared. One is one squared, which is, is one plus, plus zero plus squared plus zero plus squared plus zero squared. Okay. So the lower numbers we just use a bunch of zeros. Well, let's try a harder one. Are you ready? Okay. Let's try five. How can I write five as a sum of perfect squares? Hmm. hmm. Well, two squared plus one squared plus zero squared plus zero squared. Very good. Four plus one plus zero plus zero is? Five. Five, okay. Maybe it would help if we wrote down our squares. I'll write them over here. So zero, one, four, 9, 16. Yep. What comes next? 25. 25. Okay, that'll be good enough. We don't need to go up that high. Let's try 10. All right, actually, let's try 12. How can we write 12 as a sum of perfect squares? Ooh. Um, not 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. 3 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. Whoa. So I bet you... Lagrange was sitting around doing this, and he probably said, geez, seems like this works for every number. What number do you want to try? Maybe tw 20. 20, okay, let's try 20. This is, this could be pretty neat. Maybe, maybe Lagrange didn't check 20. Maybe. And maybe we'll figure out there's a flaw in his theorem, and then we'll be... Rich and famous. Rich and famous, because we figured out that 20 can't be written as the sum of four squares. Okay, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's go. What do you think? Well, if we try 16, okay. that's, four, that's 4 away. 4 squared. Plus, if we can't do 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared. Yeah, oh, 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 1 squared will only get us to 19. Aha, maybe 20 doesn't work. Oh, we might be famous. Maybe. Okay, let's see. What? 20 could be 4 squared plus... Plus... 2 squared plus 0 squared plus 0. Oh, shoot. I guess Lagrange probably checked 20. Yeah. Shoot. Uh, Let's try one more. Hmm. Go up here. All right, one more number, and that'll be it. But make one up. Go ahead. How about maybe 24? 24. Okay, awesome. All right, this is our chance to be famous. Okay, let's see. So we can do 16 plus 16 plus 2 squared. All right. That gives us to 20. That gives us to 20. Plus 2 squared plus 2, plus 2 squared plus 0 squared. That goes to 24. Ah, I guess Legit Lagrange checked 24 too. But you know what? His theorem said it works for any number. Oh, and you know what? There's even another... Uh, maybe there's another way we could do some of these too. It doesn't have to be unique, I don't think. So anyway, this is, this is pretty neat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty neat. Yeah. Yeah. So this is, I think this was in the late 1700s, if I remember right. So long time ago. Yeah. So he didn't even do this on a calculator or an iPad. He did it all, he figured it out in his head and he proved that for any number this works. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah, all right. High five. That's a fun thing about squares that mathematicians have proven. Pretty fun. Yeah.